This video will demonstrate a single row repair of a subscapular stair and a double row repair of a supraspinatus stair. Here we see the subscap tear and we check how it can be reduced on the lesser tuberosity using a grasper. Then we need to debride uh, the lesser tuberosity with a burr and then we insert a screw in anchor just close to the cartilage on the lesser tuberosity. We check that the anchor holds well. Then we perform an inside the box technique where we will pass the sutures using a hook through the tendon. We grab one strand at the lower part of the tear and then one strand of each suture in the middle of the tear and then finally the last strand of the second suture at the top of the subscapularis. Then we retrieve the sutures and we tie the knots. We check the repair. And we also check the external rotation, which needs to reach 40 degrees of external rotation. Now let's focus on the supraspinatus repair. This is a full thickness tear and we have debrided the bone. Then we insert a screw in anchor close to the cartilage. This tear is a posterior L-shaped tear and we need to check the reduction of the tear. So we pass the suture through the posterior edge of the supraspinatus and the anterior edge of the intraspinatus. We check the reduction, but we won't tie the knot right now because otherwise it is too difficult to continue the repair. Next step is to grab the tape through the supraspinatus, one strand of each sutures at the entire part of the tendon and the the two other ones at the posterior part of the tendon. We then tie the knot on the posterior part of the tear, which close the L. And we then create two holes on the lateral part of the greater tuberosity.
and we insert two screen anchors loaded with the previous tutors. This way, we have repaired this cuff tear in a double row manner with a good result.